Zoe, I know the art of creation is quite difficult for some for some people, but mm -hmm. for you, when you had that blank page in front of you, how did Ruby Sparks take shape? What yeah. inspired it? Um, you know, I've been thinking a lot about the Pygmalion myth, about the sculptor whose sculpture comes to life because he loves it so much. Um, and just thinking about what I might do with that, it seemed to speak really uh, clearly about what happens sometimes in relationship when we have an idea of the other person and sort of impose that on them. And um, I was walking home from work one night and saw a discarded mannequin in a trash heap and thought it was a person and it scared me. And somehow um, that sparked something in my brain because I woke up the next morning with the seeds of this in my head. And then it wrote itself really quickly. You know, it was like maybe two and a half, three weeks for the first draft. Um, and then a lot of work rewriting for Jonathan and Valerie. I often wonder, the best romantic comedies, I often wonder if they're born from broken hearts. Huh. And I, I'm not sure, I mean, have you ever had that experience where you felt the need to kind of express yourself because the insides are so honest and so authentic. Where do they come from? I mean, did someone break your heart? Or no, were you so in love, I think, at that point? That, no, I need to get this out and, and express it. Um, you know, I think uh, when I was in my early 20s, I had a couple relationships where I felt like almost like I broke my own heart where I felt like um, I had to leave the relationship for one reason or another and then uh, in retrospect could see more clearly what went wrong. Uh, I don't know, you know, th there's nothing autobiographical in, in the movie. I, I think when you love someone, you love them forever. And I, I was definitely drawing on past experience and, um, and also, you know, some things from my current relationship. But, uh, you know, I think, I don't know, I think love is a heartbreaking thing. Just the idea that you can have someone that you're so close to and that there's no contract between you, and, I mean, unless you get married, but that, that, that someone can leave someone else. Like, in a family, you're always mother and daughter. Even if you don't speak, that's still your mother, it's still your daughter. But when a relationship ends, there's no real word to describe that. And I don't know, it, it seems heartbreaking to me. Now, the line that resonated strongest for me was, falling in love is an act of magic. Mm. I love that. I love the simplicity of that, and it's very true. Why do you think it is an act of magic? Why is it so hard? For us in an audience, we keep going to these films for some kind of epiphany, but why is falling in love such a hard thing to, to come by? Well, I think, you know, like a magic trick is a contract between the magician and the audience, right? The audience says, we believe, and the magician says, I'm going to help you believe. The magician says, look over here, and the audience looks, you know, and that I think that falling in love is like that, where you say, you know, don't look at this part of me, look at this part, and the other person says, I believe in that part, I believe in the best part of you, and um, that kind of uh, belief in each other is what makes, I think, what makes people love each other. And then, you know, it's all about keeping that that original spark alive. Uh, that spark, yeah. which eludes us for a freaking long time. <laughs> <laughs> but between you and Paul, however, though, there is spark. And I loved the, the exchanges between both characters, between both actors, actually. And so how was it writing that part of writing the man who's creating this entire myth, so to speak? Yeah. Well, you know, it was really fun for me. I, I wrote like the first five pages of it or something and then showed it to Paul and he asked if I was writing it for us. And as soon as he said it, it seemed totally clear that that's what I was doing. And then from then on, it was sort of like in the back of my mind. I really wanted the characters to speak clearly to me, um, just like Ruby speaks so clearly to Calvin. Um, uh, but little things like, Paul's like a really funny person and they're, um, you know, that's something I think most people don't know about him because he's played all these dark characters. So it was fun to get to imagine Paul doing some of the physical comedy, for instance, and getting to write those opportunities for him. And think about it for one split second, you got to control the boy. I did. For once. And just and it's an interesting parallel to the film, but what is it about your relationship with Paul, for both of you, that is so inspiring to both, both of you uh, to create the most amazing art? Oh, that's so nice. Um, you know, I think couples are compatible in different ways. Like, some people are both really outdoorsy, you know. Um, for me and Paul, I think aesthetically, we've always really understood each other, and we have the same taste in movies and books, and 
uh, one thing that we do for each other, even when we're not working for each other, is sort of be a bounce board for the other person. We can come home with a problem and work it out together. Um, so I, I think that, um, and we had a great uh, role model in Jonathan and Valerie, who are a married couple. And I mean, the way that they work together is totally inspiring. I want to thank you for making LA look like a romantic storybook. <laughs> so number one and two, is there a lesson to be learned from what happens to Calvin and Ruby? Do you think what we can we, what can we learn from this experience of watching Ruby Sparks? Well, I don't think you can reduce it down to one message. Um, I hope that people feel something like you were saying. You know, my greatest hope is that when people step into this movie, that they believe in the world, that they believe in these characters, that it makes them feel something, and that they come out thinking about their own lives. I did. I want to fall in love again. <laughs> Good. So it was a real pleasure talking Thank about you. Thank you so, so much. much. Thank you, Jorge.